Brock Charlelli's humble beginnings as a sitcom star were only the beginnings of his still blooming Hollywood career. Mom, Dad, this is Brad, my boyfriend. ABC aired the first episode of The Middle on September 30th, 2009. The sitcom's portrayal of a middle-class family in Indiana proved to be a success, running for nine seasons and receiving a number of awards along the way. And while the show featured a star-studded cast of industry veterans like Patricia Heaton and Neil Flynn, it also helped launch the careers of young actors like Atticus Schaefer and Brock Charlelli. Charlelli, a theatre kid who grew up in Colorado, told HuffPost he snagged the role of Sue Heck's boyfriend-turned-best-friend Brad just days after he was first called in to audition, saying, Whirlwind is the only word in my vocabulary that accurately describes the process of booking the show. TV casting moves fast no matter what, but it's even more so when I'm flying halfway across the country for a two-minute audition. As Brad grew up on the series, Charlelli grew up too. He went on to earn a math degree from Chapman University, where he also took internships that gave him a chance to learn even more about the TV industry. In 2015, he told Out, From an acting standpoint, all you see is the script. You film it, and the next month you see the final product. You don't see all the work that goes into it and the behind the scenes. In 2017, showrunners announced that season 9 of The Middle would be the last. In a 2018 interview with Cheddar, Charlelli expressed gratitude for the opportunity to star in such a successful show. One of the showrunners said during our final table read, she goes, All the fun that we've had, it's filmed. And to me, I think that's so cool because I'm not sad because it's ending, because we could go back and reflect. The show's demise didn't impact his trajectory as a performer, and he had plans on what to do even before the show's finale. I did something in LA a few years ago and I'm hoping to do another theater type thing in Los Angeles once, uh, once the middle ends, but we'll see if Broadway's in the future. On February 27, 2018, Charlelli took to Instagram to announce his one-man live show titled Fully Committed, set to take place in April of that year at the Two Roads Theatre in Los Angeles. The show not only highlighted his versatility as a performer, but kept him busy following the middle. As it turns out, he was inspired by another sitcom star. He told Trunk Space, I saw Jesse Tyler Ferguson from Modern Family do Fully Committed on Broadway a few years ago and I was flabbergasted. And when we officially announced the final season of The Middle, I wanted something lined up, so I bought the rights. During his time on TV, Charlelli didn't take on many side gigs, since the hit series seemed to keep him busy. He enjoyed a short film credit in 2010 with 2.0, a TV short titled Beth and Ally in 2013, and the TV series Valet in 2017, but his involvement in other projects was minimal. However, as the middle drew to a close, the actor had more time to expand his range. In 2018, Charlelli appeared in Home Entertainment, a short film that followed a group of guests vacationing in a lavish home in Malibu while being spied on by the homeowners. The film earned three nominations in separate film festivals from 2018 to 2020 and was a successful venture for the sitcom star, but he almost didn't break free from the middle. After the finale of the sitcom, showrunners pitched the idea of a spin-off called Sue Sue in the City, which would follow the middle favorite Sue Heck as she went from a dorky teenager to a thriving young adult in Chicago. Brock Charlelli's inclusion in the show was almost guaranteed. After The Hollywood Reporter confirmed the series back in 2018, Charlelli took to Instagram to announce that he was set to reprise his role as Brad, writing, I can finally announce this, Brad, Bottig and Sue Heck are far from over. Unfortunately, the spin-off was met with a few roadblocks, and in November of the same year, Deadline reported that ABC decided to terminate the production. While fans were devastated, Charlelli confirmed the reports that came out at the time. Got some sad news on Tuesday, we had a blast filming the pilot, and it turned out phenomenally but it seems the timing of it all wasn't on our side for it to land at ABC. Regardless, he still looks back on the show very positively. The Middle was so fun. It was uh, an amazing nine years of my life yes. and uh, made great memories and, and great friendships. A running joke in the middle was Brad's unconfirmed sexual orientation, which culminated in season 7 when Brad came out and embraced his truth. Talking with Huff Post, Charlelli praised the creators of the show for how they handled such a delicate moment. Sometimes it's easy to forget just how much impact a sitcom can have on a viewer because it's just that, a sitcom. However, I've been fortunate to receive a lot of fan mail and even had some in-person encounters where I've been told that the character of Brad has widened their perspective or allowed them to accept themselves or even given them the courage to come out to their friends and family. While celebrating National Coming Out Day in 2018, Charlelli penned a heartfelt message on X, encouraging those struggling with coming out to not worry about others' expectations. You've got to do you, in your own time, and when you do decide the time is right, make sure you have your own Sue Heck by your side. Whether you come out today, tomorrow, or 10 years from now, the world will be brighter because of it. I promise.
His fight for equality didn't stop there. In 2020, the recurrence of police brutality sparked a series of protests for social justice, and people across the globe reacted in support of black lives. Everyone from political figures to celebrities joined to vent their outrage. Charlelli used his platform to encourage his followers to help in any way they could. In June of 2020, Charlelli announced that he enrolled in a 30-day educational course about helping black women by Rachel Elizabeth Cargill titled Do the Work. Charlelli wrote on Facebook, I pride myself on being an ally to the black community, and this is just a small way for me to put my actions where my mouth is. I hope you'll join me by doing the same. Later that month, Charlelli also informed his Facebook followers that he was hosting an Instagram Live event to raise money for charities dedicated to benefiting members of the black community. Though Brock Charlelli keeps his personal life relatively under the radar, he's shared some details about his love life over the years. A few months after the final episode of The Middle aired, he started a relationship with producer Cameron Tarlow. The two have offered fans glimpses into their life on social media, sharing vacation snapshots, industry events and anniversary milestones. Like Charlelli, Tarlow has achieved massive success in his own right, working as a casting director, executive producer, and assistant on productions like Grimm, Hot in Cleveland, and Crowded. Since 2018, he's been the head of original content at the production company Two Shakes Entertainment, which he founded alongside Damon Wayans Jr. In 2023, the company's first series, Glamorous, hit Netflix, in which Charlelli nabbed a small role. Turns out, working together worked well for this couple. Exercise has long been a part of Brock Charlelli's life. On Instagram, he shares videos where he's working up a sweat from either tap dancing or running on the treadmill. His love for fitness eventually led him to partner with Barry's Bootcamp, becoming a fitness instructor for their West Hollywood gym studio. According to his Instagram bio, Charlelli is also a fitness trainer at High Mat Club, which focuses on various activities ranging from fitness to fine dining. His post-middle activities aren't limited to fitness, however. In 2016, he joined Los Angeles acting school Stan Kirsch Studios, where he eventually became an instructor. When Stan Kirsch died, in 2020, Charlelli dedicated a sentimental Facebook post to his late acting coach, posting, His curriculum expanded beyond acting and auditioning technique. The most important pillar of his teachings was that success is shared. This industry is filled with a lot of toxicity, but he believed that when you share in your fellow classmates' success, you also win. In 2022, after a short break, Charlelli began to work his way back to the screen, snagging a gig guest-starring on Binge Queens. In each episode, drag queens offer commentary on episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race and its spin-offs. In 2022, Universal Pictures released Bros, a comedy co-written by Billy Eichner about two gay men exploring what it means to be in a committed relationship. The movie features Brock Charlelli as an unwanted fourth participant of a threesome who tries way too hard to be involved. And of course, I mean, I have no experience with that, so I really had to dig deep to figure out what my... No, I'm just kidding. In an interview with Hollywood Creative Alliance, Charlelli noted that the project was postponed due to the pandemic, telling them, I auditioned for it right before the pandemic hit and made my way up the ladder to the approvals, and then sh stopped in the middle of the track. And then, about a year into the pandemic, they recast the net after they did a little rewriting, I suppose, re-auditioned for it, and got the role. Charlelli was thrilled to be a part of the all-LGBTQ plus cast. He told Instinct magazine, This is something that I think is historic in a way, and it's proving a point saying LGBTQ actors should be playing LGBTQ roles across the board. I think it's a wonderful step forward. Charlelli popped up on the small screen again in 2023, making a guest appearance on the Netflix original Glamorous, executively produced by his longtime boyfriend Cameron Tarlow. Glamorous is a series about a queer makeup artist who gets an opportunity to work for an icon within the makeup industry. Charlelli took to X following the release to praise those who worked on the series and announced his own involvement, writing, Get into, honey. Executively produced by my favorite person in the world, Cameron Tarlow, and the delicious Jordan Nardino. It's fun, joyous, and littered with pop culture references. The main cast slays, and you might just see me in episode 8 sporting a speedo and two-inch kitten heel. <laughs>